All right, the show rolls on here, hour uh, number two uh, here at Western Mass News. We're glad you're here. And look at that countdown. It already kind of feels like fall, though. How do you say Hard that? Hard to believe. Autumnal, autumnal, eight days? Autumnal equinox. Autumnal. Yeah, eight wow. days. A uh, week from tomorrow is the official start of autumn. Ooh, so what? Go. Yeah. That's hard to believe. I know. You got Here the we football. Go. Wow. You got Biggie. It's fall, man. And I, a lot of folks love okay. fall. Usually if you ask most folks, oh, my favorite season is fall, but it's always like what's on the other side of fall that most folks aren't yeah, too happy about. Part. I love the weather right now. I will say yep. that. Late summer, early fall, that's when we usually get some of our nicest weather. Case in point, September is such a nice month for us here in Western Mass and much of Southern New England. And, you know, we had a nice weekend. We had a nice day yesterday. Average highs this time of year are in the 70s. By the end of September, average highs are in the upper 60s. But really nice stuff here. And, yeah, it's only eight days away. It's next Wednesday at 321 that the autumnal equinox takes place. That's when the sun's direct angle is over the equator. Of course, the first day of spring, it's over the equator, but that sun angle is getting closer to us. This time of year, it'll be moving away from us, so the days get shorter and shorter. But eight days to go. It always coincides. It usually coincides, I think it always does, with the Big E, and uh, that's the case next Wednesday, the first day of autumn. Feeling autumn-like this morning, but pretty typical. I mean, September, right, is we think of September as an autumn month, a temperature of 52 degrees, right where we should be for morning lows for this time of year. The wind, for the most part, is calm right now. It'll pick up a little bit, and later on, it'll actually swing around into the southwest, and that will help to bring in a little bit of mugginess, especially late today, and you'll certainly feel the mugginess for tomorrow. So we have readings now in the 50s away from the shoreline, 60s closer to the coast. Dew points are nice and comfortable as well, and we do have some areas of fog that's not going to last long. We're actually tracking some showers, but they've been staying away from Western Mass, as we anticipated. They're out across western parts of uh, Connecticut, New York State, and they're diving to the south. We don't have to worry about this. That will be falling apart. So for today, a pleasant day. Muggy later on, a blend of sun and clouds. Tomorrow we get warm, we get humid with a strong southerly flow, and then we'll have a cold front approaching late in the day, and that will kick off some thunderstorms, and a few of those storms could be on the strong to severe side. So something to watch out for, uh, particularly tomorrow late in the day into the first half of tomorrow night. The front gets hung up. What else is new that seems to be the case uh, this season, Thursday and Friday, which means that the front close by, some tropical moisture offshore, We'll probably have a lot of clouds with a few showers Thursday and Friday, not looking like a washout, but certainly maybe a little bit unsettled for the first day of the Big E. So across the northeast, it's cool and comfortable. It is warm and more humid south of this front. And what will happen is this front will pretty much churn back as a warm front and just kind of fall apart. But it's going to bring in the mugginess later today, tonight, and certainly tomorrow as well. And with a cold front approaching from the west, that will help to instigate thunderstorms for tomorrow afternoon. So for today, a mixture of sun and clouds, nice out there. Nice and comfortable. Tonight we might have a spot shower or two, but this brings us to tomorrow morning. We'll have a dying line of showers and thunderstorms off to our west, but the flow will be increasing out of the south, so it'll become warm and humid. Then the cold front will become active again in the afternoon, first across New York State and Vermont, but after about 4 or 5 o'clock, those storms will be making it into Berkshire County, and then around dinner time or a little after in the valley, with a few of the storms being as strong to severe. Then the front will just kind of hang out to our south, and will interact with some tropical moisture sitting offshore for Thursday and Friday, and then hopefully we can kick this out by the time we get into this upcoming weekend. So on that 1 to 5 scale of severe weather, the Storms Prediction Center puts Western Mass at a slight risk for severe storms. I think we'll all get probably some sort of thunderstorm. The question is how many severe storms. So that's what we'll be watching late tomorrow into tomorrow night. Uh, dew points will be reasonable today, but they come up and you'll feel it later today, but certainly tomorrow. And since that front's still hanging around Thursday and Friday, it'll probably be rather muggy with temperatures generally in the 70s for both of those days. We're in the 70s today, but nice and comfortable for a while. Muggy later on. Tomorrow may end up being a first warning weather day with the threat of strong to severe storms late in the day. Temperatures low to perhaps mid-80s before the storms arrive. And then as we get into Thursday, it's cooler. We'll probably have some spotty showers around with temperatures generally in the 70s. And we're in the 70s today, up and down the valley, about 78 in Hamden, 78 Hadley, Gill about 76, the hill towns in the mid 70s. The breeze picks up later on that helps to bring in some of that mugginess. And in terms of showers or a storm today, that wouldn't be till really tonight, and it would be very isolated at best as that warm front pushes through. Scattered to numerous showers and storms late tomorrow, though, into the first half of tomorrow night. All right, well, more on the forecast coming up in just a few minutes from now. Jordan and Taylor, back to you. Thank you, Dan. Well, across the state to Lawrence, where